Myanmar, I guess they should uh, um, go in for the tank or maybe even their mid laner onto this one. Yep, yep, uh, for sure. Uh, this is going to be Zorn's Farsa, no question. And again, back to uh, the off lane choice, right? It's the Esmeralda versus the Uranus. Uranus starts to do Uranus things much, much earlier than Esmeralda does Esmeralda things. So maybe that's what mm -hmm. Myanmar was thinking here. They lost out on the early game in game one. So they're like, you know what? We need to get back in this. Let's figure this out and go back to basics. Square one, fam. Uranus is a good pick. This is going to be the Kufra and the Tams. I was about to say, the Tams is still open. What's going on? Now they close up <laughs> their first phase with that. While Malaysia here, arguably picking up the only reliable tank left. Because I think Hylos um, is, is much better uh, in, in a specific lineup. Like, especially if you have like a marksman, then that's when Hylos yeah, yeah, comes yeah. into play. But yeah, the Atlas here, great pickup by Malaysia uh, as we go into the second phase of banning. It's actually a good atlas for uh, Malaysia because uh, they went in for the double mage setup so the crowd control itself could uh, actually hold while uh, these two mages are bringing damage for Myanmar. Yeah. Although for, for Malaysia, they should uh, ban out uh, um, maybe the Lancelot or even Kari for uh, Myanmar on this one but it's gonna be the Louis. so uh, yep yeah 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 for uh, Myanmar they're actually like uh, lacking for uh, the support so uh, Bali is actually open they could uh, go for that one if they want to negate uh, the Vital Links or even the Falling Starman here of uh, Myanmar it's just that if they go in for uh, this uh, Valir, they should actually um, pick a hero that goes in for the DPS or actually the yep. finisher of the team fight yep and uh, I like how Myanmar banned out the one hero that they should be picking up. I think Myanmar would have been better off with the Lancelot, again, based on how it counters the Atlas kit, right? Like, that would have been a good core, but now we're left with maybe the tier 2 level of, 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 of cores, right? Like, mm -hmm. that's the last pick for Malaysia and Myanmar here. Who are their choices? Kimi, Kari, um... Lancelot yeah, Kimi, is banned. Kimi Kari, uh, Lancelot was banned, or maybe uh, Bruno. There are instances where in uh, these teams are actually picking Bruno regardless of uh, what we're... They're hovering for, hovering for this um, Cyclops. So Ranger. I'm not really sure if you are for, uh, going for this one, but I guess uh, Kimi is a better choice for there them. There it is. Together with yep. Oh, uh, Kimi is a good choice. Yeah, it's going to be a mid Natalia, or at least a roaming Natalia. Haven't seen her in a while here in the C Invitational. Now Malaysia, the ball is in their court. Which four do they pick up? And that's going to be good. I actually like the Hayabusa. Um, there's no, uh, there's no disturbance. Like there's, there's no one to get in the way. No, how do we say? No obstacles. There you go. No obstacles for uh, the uh, shadow kill. So as soon as they clear minions it's fair game like they can just go for the wipeout and that's going to be a pickup yes yeah actually imagine um it's gonna be difficult for kufra to go in for the engagement because he needs to protect this kimi whenever the high boot to force a game three clutch it here in the lower bracket fight for their tournament life they deserve to be here just as much as Malaysia and maybe even go for a rematch with Team Philippines. But nonetheless, here we go. Game number two. Chantal, I got to notice, I, I got to say here, uh, I do see that when it comes to pushing and like all, all around uh, map mobility, I think Team Myanmar here has the advantage. Like they can move around much, much faster. Look at this DK up top. Going to be Ooh. trying to get a first blood just short, possibly a few basic attacks. But... They're the, the ones who are threatening. <laughs> yeah, they're the ones yeah, who are yeah. threatening uh, the uh, the push strategy, especially with the Kimi. Yeah, actually for uh, Team Myanmar, it's actually good lineup in terms of uh, the third push. They have the the Natalia for uh, the information uh, there for the team. So I guess uh, they know where uh, lanes they should be pushing. Mm -hmm. For Malaysia though, I've uh, actually hyped the Hayabusa pick, but it's um meant for the early game is if this uh, kimi scales up on the latter part of the game i guess it's gonna be kimi and mars game onto this one but then again we have yellow flash here together with the squad getting uh, that orange buff against team militia that's actually good um objective or uh, negation of objective from them oh there you go almost missed it but 
Fix gets the first blood onto Sham 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 nonetheless on that Uranus. I think Uranus found himself in the wrong neighborhood. He was trying to steal uh, Fix's buff, but Fix took that the wrong way. Fix was like, I'm not cool with that, but it looks like Rumpel here might have bitten more than, off more than he could chew. Perfect match, not gonna help him out. Goes down, Ozorveki could only watch. As Fix here goes in for a fight, he's not tough enough. He does not have Shadow Kill just yet. Oh! Ooh, bursted down by Royal Milk Palms, the Inferno. Now Zorin is up next. Gets into wings by wings. And now Royal Milk flickers in. He wants blood. And Zorin able to run away. Can Royal Milk survive? No, he won't. Rumpel gets it. No. It was actually a bloody team fight for the teams. Um, it went uh, like for how many minutes just to get the kills from each one. But again, for uh, Team Malaysia, we could see a DK running against them. But Rumpel secures that kill for Team Malaysia. So far for Malaysia, though, I guess uh, for a fix, he needs to um, avoid those kind of errors. He was actually safe earlier but then uh, he comes in for another dive he wants to kill other players so that is going to be a bit of a problem for them knowing that he is a hyper carry for team malaysia but then again you have the delay here sam 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 is down with the hands of lord arts onto this esmeralda and the first turtle is now up for our team natalia oh. for the mission and actually getting a kill with that execute spell for him nice pick up there for dk Yep, DK found his mark and makes Fix pay. Uh, he found Fix at the perfect time. Like, Fix had no escape. He was silenced. And now it looks like Lord Arts is in trouble. This is going to be Yellow Flash. Going for the uh, maximum charge. Barely taking a chunk off of Lord Arts' life. He gets to survive. But look at this now. Hold up. Zorn here. Caught out by Hiccup with the bouncing ball. Wings by wings. Out. And he survives. What a nice um, actually escape there coming in from Team Malaysia. Although for this one, we can see Myanmar taking uh, now objectives against Malaysia. So uh, this was uh, the story earlier for Team Malaysia. If they go if they go in for the team fight, they will just go for the objectives. So far oh. for Mal for uh, Myanmar, though, it's just them taking the objectives. After taking down the turret, they will take down th this turtle. We have also Rebecca on the last insanity contract inferno pop by Royal Mick. It's gonna be two versus one. We have Sword for the backup, but here comes the fatal links though. Oh, here Royal comes Royal Mick still alive. Uh, he likes living on the edge. He survives right before the turtle takes Chantel. I gotta say, Yellow Flash, nice steal on the purple from Fix. Like Fix clicked retribution and was just short of that maximum charge. Man, Team Myanmar here up now 2,000 gold. They are back in it. I'd say they're they're ahead for sure. Mm -hmm. And actually for uh, this one, we can see Yellow Flash being top in terms of gold. So that is a good factor for them. But here comes an off camp kill. Actually, far as uh, killing that Natalia. I guess for Malaysia, they need to stop this Natalia and bring about information for Myanmar. Or else, it will be really difficult for them. So far for Myanmar, they will take down another turret against uh, Malaysia. We have Rumpel running low for his life and he's gonna back down. And again, for Myanmar, it's all about the objectives. Uh, mm -hmm. Malaysia, yeah. They're up uh, in terms of um, hero kills here, but Myanmar just said uh, taking down turrets again Malaysia against Malaysia. This was the story earlier. This, this was uh, what Malaysia has done against Myanmar. We are seeing right now Myanmar giving uh, Malaysia the taste of their own medicine. Oh, for sure. Now Myanmar uh, showing us exactly how potent a push Kimi could be. Again, no kills. Zero, zero, one, a single assist, but five minutes, six minutes almost in. Malaysia is running low on turrets. Now, this is a fight waiting to happen. Now, bottom hiccup comes in. Mm. There you go, Tyrant's Rage pushing in. Rumple, no tank for Malaysia right now, and there's not much they can do here to protect Turtle even their own buff. Soon. But let's see, can Yellow Flash steal this again? Oh, I think he will. Yeah, this is just a DPS. I, I'm uh, guessing for uh, Team uh, Myanmar right now, this uh, Kimi is really on a rampage. Mm -hmm. He's now at uh, level 11, Yellow Flash. Now at level 11, he has the Purify if ever this Atlas comes in for the team fight. But oh. then again, Turtle has been actually stolen here by Myanmar. We have the Fatal Links though. Here comes the damage for Team Myanmar. And Malaysia just backs away. They they are sure that yellow flash has the damage already so it's not safe for them to actually go on for the team fight that fix 
being uh, chased there by uh, the Natalia and actually being mm. taken by this turret of Myanmar. Smart. Smart. He denied himself like to give Myanmar no gold. All right. So uh, good move here for a team Mia uh, Malaysia, but team Myanmar, uh, they are just pressuring Malaysia. I haven't seen Rumpel do anything good this match just yet. Like nothing spectacular. That Fatal Link's almost in the uh, upper half of their jungle, almost. But again, Fix was too low to engage. So, man, Team Malaysia here, they are on the ropes. 4,000 gold down. Yeah, that is actually uh, um, dangerous for uh, Team Malaysia knowing that this is a hyper carry assassin for them. They want this Hayabusa to go on for the kills. But then again, we have Royal Mail being thrown here in the turret and That's actually be being taken by Ozzy Rebecca with That's his export. We have this uh, Blade of Heptasis though for a DK. A lot of damage here. He has the execute. We saw that earlier he actually killed a player for Team Malaysia that is alone. So for Malaysia, just like what I've been saying earlier, they need this Natalia to be down if they want to go for the team fight or else Myanmar has all the information against them. Yep, yep, yep. Again, DK here, he sets the pace. Like, he tells you whether or not you can cast your spells. He tells you where the fight's gonna happen. Because he has, again, uncontested vision. Very few things in this game just yet can pop uh, DK or Natalia out of uh, hiding. And yeah, again, that Natalia also goes towards pushing. Like, look at that. He's able to clear the wave with no punish at all. And again, Yellow Flash is keeping Fix hungry. Not another not another buff. Again, purple for uh, Fix. And I think his orange even is, is in contest. So this this yeah, Hayabusa yeah. is anorexic. This this yeah, Hayabusa actually, <laughs> is just, is just yeah, yeah. having trouble. This Hayabusa is sick. He's ill, yeah. not in a good way. Yep, 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 uh, for Fix here. He, he actually doesn't have that uh, farming site. We can see Myanmar taking a majority of the jungle here against Malaysia. And so far for Myanmar, what's good about this lineup is uh, they actually have this uh, three frontliners, the Thams, the Kufra, and even this uh, Uranus. So that there alone is just a ghost in for the free hit. Oh. And again, DK secure kill for Team Myanmar here on the bottom lane side. It's going to be 5-6 for the score. Yeah, the feathered airstrike. Soren is actually exposed. So I guess for Myanmar, this is a perfect timing for them to make this uh, map of Malaysia really, really small. Yeah. And did you see how Lord Arts just had no fight at all? Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is an Esmeralda. But they made him seem like a marksman, right? There was nothing he could have done. Like, barely a Frost uh, Moon Dance. And now it looks like the <clears throat> Immortality is going to get popped here for the Exborg. And he barely survives. Flickering out is Ozoraveki. And down goes the turret. And now they are going to go for the Penetrate. This is the Siege by Team Myanmar. Actually, for, yeah, have you seen the ultimate earlier of a Yellow Flash? This is actually uh, more than the, the half of the damage or uh, the health here of Sorn. But then again, we have Ozoraveki being killed here by Yellow Flash. The damage is just there for Team Minmar. We can see the DPS, the ultimates. We have the Falling Storm in here for Lord Arts. The damage is not enough to kill a player, even a single player for Team Minmar. Here comes Hiccup for the bouncing ball. Lord Art is down with the hands of this Kimi. And I just like what we're saying, this Kimi is already on a snowball. Yo, yellow flash hitting everyone with a Chidori or or uh, or um, just, just whatever that is. The maximum charge, it's over. Clearing minion waves, clearing heroes even. And at this point, Chantal, it's so hard for me to find the comeback because Team Myanmar, I think they know what they need to do here. Oh, but wait. Fix with the shadow kill. Royal Milk pops. The Cotter Inferno down goes the Rumple. And just like that, the turn is successful for Team Myanmar. You thought you got Royal Milk, but you had no idea. Up top, it looks like Fix has to retreat. And they are going to try to penetrate both mid and top at the same time. Fix, oh, scared in his own base. There it is. Mid goes down. Up top might be next. In goes DK. The jump by the Kufra, successfully catching two. Double for Yellow Flash here. Down goes Ozeraveki, as well as Lord Arts. Oh. This third up top, not gonna survive. Royal Milk, barely again. Living on the edge. And now, the Siege of a Lifetime. Uh, this reminds me of game number one. Of yeah, the first I guess, series today. 
Oh, actually, Yellow Flash getting a kill for Team Myanmar. We have Sorn left here for Malaysia to defend this space. And again, it's going to be a 1 1. Four second series for today, Myanmar, win against Malaysia on this game, number two. Ooh. Team Myanmar really wants to stay.